load right into another game and see uh see what we do here let me check the uh as we're loading in pick one thing Same game. <laughs> okay. I can't wait until we unlock more characters or character slots. Or, I mean, the, uh, not more characters, but the, uh, Oh, I'm literally using the default one. That's funny. I didn't realize that. Finally got into a game. I'll probably still go that M4 again. I was having a, a good time with that that gun. I think it was pretty cool. So load in with that and then uh I guess keep using that for now. Hopefully we get an update soon enough about uh the weapons like messed up and everything, so We'll see, but for now, this works. Cool. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that's so cool. So cool. I, I love the beginning uh, transitions of checking the weapon. Looks so good. Go for Alpha One. Wait, they're taking Alpha Two. Oh, okay, we are taking Alpha Two. Nice. We set off all the alarms. Bravo too. Uh, I knew I was going to get 
little hot in here. I should have just aimed down sights. And take Charlie one. Charlie one, then where's Charlie two? There it is. Since we have it, we might as well. Oh man. They're grabbing the points right now. Sucks you can't see in front of you. Sorry, you're okay, little baby. I know you miss her. I know it's okay. He's gonna start howling now. Area Alpha is under our control. Alpha two, sure. Oh. Okay. Objective Charlie One is under attack. There's two vehicles on there. Oh my god. Our units are taking hold of objective Alpha 2. That I like to see. Crap, they have Bravo 1 and Bravo 2. Ah. They are racking up those points right now. That was a hostile. Shot his helmet off, but couldn't get him in enough time. Need to hold Alpha One. 
Охраняйте цель, Анна один. Crap, dude. <laughs> That car is smushed. What? Oh my god. Oh. Out. There he is. Oh. Get him. I think our best bet might be grabbing Charlie 1 and Charlie 2. Maybe. Battlefield vehicle cap. Damn. Here we go. This looks neat. Yo, what's going on, Maddie? How you doing? Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I've been really enjoying it so far. I, uh, so this game came out in 2018 originally, uh, and it had some issues. Uh, so they ended up actually re-releasing it, uh, or taking it down, and then re-releasing it uh, two days ago. And since then, one sec, I'm trying to find out where these guys are at. Ooh. And now I'm out of ammo. Um, so it came out in 2018 and had some issues, server issues and all that. Um, so they ended up actually taking it down. Uh, and then they re-released it about two or three days ago. Um, and this time it's... Uh, it's going to be going free to play. Um, so right now there's packs for it, basically, where like, it's really cosmetic stuff that you get in the battle pass if you buy a higher version. Um, but it's uh, essentially a Battlefield-esque style game, if you couldn't tell. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Game launching with issues, huh? That's a new one. True. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's it feels pretty good. It has a very good foundation. It still has some minor issues. Like uh, servers actually been pretty good all day today. So so far that's been good. 
Uh, it has some audio issues and other loadout issues, but the foundation of the maps, uh, the gameplay, there's nothing really like super great game breaking where like you, you're you stuck, you can't do anything. So, uh, yeah. And right now the price to entry is 15 bucks. So, uh, there's a lot of customization which is also really cool you can choose how your character looks you can select your weapons like uh this weapon uh has a ton of i keep getting wrecked right now uh but you can really mix and match like here's all these attachments you can go in there change them up there's armor plates head armor uh gadgets which is like health ammo equipment uh, different grenades. They do have a backpack feature, which is similar to like battlefields where like you can switch out like this. You can switch out your attachment and stuff if you have things equipped in your backpack. Um, there's different characters that you can create right now. Uh, there's there's a lot of stuff that they're they still need to add. Um, but I'll definitely have to check it out. I ended up getting Battlefield 2042 yesterday. That's some cool customization. Yeah, they have a, a lot of stuff. Um, here's a character. Yeah, so you can choose your headgear, face gear, uh, chest piece, gloves, pants, face paint, body paint. They haven't really added other stuff um, just yet. There's also support. Uh, these are score streaks instead of kill streaks you have score streaks so like that's a this one remote is a radar a bombing run and then a heli remote helicopter um but you can also go uav jammer artillery and then tank like there's a lot and here's my favorite part when you go into the menu you you can select a gun right and after you select the gun, you can expand it and see every single piece that you can uh, swap out. You can also do that with tanks. You can also do that with the helicopter. You can also do it with APCs. There's a lot. <laughs> From color combinations to attachments to... It, it literally pulls the weapon or the vehicle apart and you can see which pieces you can swap out. So they, they put a lot of detail into that kind of thing. Uh, maps are generally 20 v 20 as well. So a little bit smaller than Battlefield, but uh, there's no respawn feature. But you do um, instantly, well, you respawn pretty fast. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> My wife just left uh, a little bit ago, so she's... My doggo's a little sad. Sag doggo. Yari, you're okay. He'll be back in a little. Yeah, I, I really like this game. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. I think this game has a lot of potential. And I, I really hope the best for it. Uh, because... It's, cre it's created by Farm51, which recently, uh, one of their most recent games was that Chernobylite game. Um, they developed that as well. So, God, there they are. Come on. I destroyed his armor. Uh, how the hell do you rank the shooters that released this fall so far? Well, so how many, it, just off the top of my head, there's Battlefield, there's Halo, and then there's this, right? What, uh, is there anything else that I'm missing? I mean, that those are really the main three that I've played so far. Is there any other... I never played Deathloop. 
if you are you just me multiplayer battlefield halo vanguard if you played it uh i i haven't played vanguard and honestly and just in my opinion just from looking at it that goes to the very bottom i think this game personally would be more fun than vanguard but that's also i'm more of a battlefield person anyways so <laughs> but yeah i haven't played uh vanguard so personally i think the most fun so far um ooh. i've been having a lot of fun with battlefield the only problem is the the portal mode and the xp but also halo feels so so good so so good um i don't i oh, that's a rough one <laughs> if i had to put them in order Yeah, I like all of them for their own reasons. But I've stopped playing Halo and I'm I'm stopped playing Battlefield for now. I honestly if if this was a full release right now and it had a lot more maps and uh all the bugs were ironed out, World War 3 would be my number 1. If this was the, the progression there is there the challenge is there the maps are there uh there's really only audio issues and loadout issues and if those were fleshed out this 100 percent would be my number one game for shooters recently um i can't say if that's going to be the case later but for right now I would say this game. Second, I, and this is gonna be surprising for me, just thinking about it, but second, I would probably say that, um, Halo Infinite, because of how good the gunplay feels in that game, and generally, I am, I'm not a, a huge, like, Halo fan, but the way that that game runs and, feels is so so good my biggest problem is the battle pass and the way that that works so honestly i'm holding out until hopefully they make changes or or change up how the challenges work the progression all of that um and then i would probably put battlefield 2042 personally so i'm just ranking them from the way that i think that this game feels the most complete because it has the progression and it has the gameplay. Halo has the gameplay, but it doesn't have the progression. And then Battlefield has the uh, the progression, but the gameplay isn't fully there yet. So that's that's kind of where I'm putting all these because the the gameplay is it's still a lot of fun. Like I I like the maps. I like the the 62 versus 62. Um, I know a lot of people say that they, they're they very open. Um, there is a level system, but it just feels like, I, I just feel like there's a lot missing. So for now, I'm just holding off until hopefully they're like, hey, here's a big content update. Here's scoreboards, here's squad, here's uh, squad customization. Here's, I don't know. I'm just kind of waiting. ARs finally work. I did see that. I do want to try it too, um, to see how the uh, the um, thing is. The uh, now, nah, so I haven't played the the new latest patch. The last time I played was after patch number one. Um, I haven't checked out patch number two yet, so I, I will have to at some point. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 
it's like I, I feel like they're the just comparing Halo Infinite and comparing uh Battlefield like they both succeed on different uh on different layers but if they were combined it would have so much potential and that's why I put this game there because it has the progression it has the gunplay it just needs to iron out the fixes and hopefully remain uh keep the player base number one keep the player base number two uh not turn into a microtransaction hell because it will be going free to play in uh early 2021 all right 2022 so i think a year from now it might be battlefield 2042 um for me and then it might be this and then it might be uh halo infinite so i don't know <laughs> as it stands i honestly would put it right there probably like actually i've been following this game for for a while though it, it really it, it's a perfect time for this game to release too because and i've said this a few times today during my stream literally everyone playing this game right now is people that are battlefield refugees everyone that's not happy with the current state of battlefield is playing this game or has heard of this game is playing this game it's not not everybody knows about it so it's not like the biggest game ever obviously but for those of those people that do know battlefield that do uh know of this game most of them are, are playing it right now it does have that biggest like three four vibes exactly uh, i the way i keep in, uh explaining this game is i say that it reminds me of a um like a battlefield battlefield 4 2.0 That's how I really do see this game. And personally, I I wish that DICE built a game like this on a larger scale rather than 2042 in its current state. The, just the amount of customization that you have in this for your classes Personally, I think it 110% outweighs the current and and I don't mind the specialists like I'm okay with them I personally I'm not a big like Complainer about it. Like I'm okay with it. I've been enjoying angel. I know I want to check out the other specialists but like the amount of customization and combinations that I've had in this game already within the last two days is just like Like if they just did this I feel like Battlefield would be like it wouldn't be as badly rated as as it is right now. I wish it was Battlefield or 2.0 with the weather effects. Exactly. And I I still find fun with the game. Like I I've jumped into many many games with it. I I still I've played a good amount of hours of it. I probably already played like 30 hours of um 2042 it's just it, it's it's missing things that i i love about battlefield so we'll see though just like everything else i'm just gonna give it time and see how it is and then return to it and I, i'm still there's still moments where like i'm like oh man i kind of want to jump into some battlefield I, I was about to yesterday i was about to jump in and play a little bit we got absolutely wrecked right there i uh, i was gonna jump in and, and play some uh breakthrough or conquest there but i just didn't get around to it um so Another big thing for me 
is I've been waiting for them to bring back XP in Portal, like full XP, because that is something I really want to jump into. I want to be able to create a server, jump in there or find a server, jump in there and play a variety of maps, like every single map from old maps, new maps, level up my attachments, level up everything. And that's not there currently. And I'm kind of like, like makes me nervous. I think after the third patch next week could be more stable for you to jump back in. I agree. Um, like I, I have all notifications on for it. So I, I'm still watching it a whole lot. I'm waiting to see like what happens and stuff. Um, so oh wow he actually spawned in with my my loadout that i had it set i've been trying to use this gun for a while now the g36 the guns feel so good in this game too Enemy forces incoming. Lock them up. yes absolutely it is uh and i'm gonna say like be a little harsh but it is Kind of embarrassing how bad their performance is right now. Um, my buddy who has a, a 1080 is barely breaking like 40 to 50 frames. And it's like, come on. Like really? Like when you change, even when you change like your, your settings, it's doesn't make that much of, the, of a difference it's kind of cra crazy you know it is embarrassing no two ways about it yeah so it's like i don't know it's 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 hard i just my my biggest problem with battlefield 2042 is just games and, and it's a game that i i love i've been battlefield 1942 was my first first person shooter ever Battlefield 2 was like the first time I started playing multiplayer games like online all the time. Battlefield 2142. Absolutely love that game. Bad, Bad Company 2. Like all of them. They, they're all so dear to my heart. And I feel like, like if they, 2042 is meant to be this game where it takes all the best of each. It takes the best things of Bad Company 2. It takes the best things of... Battlefield 1942, the best things of uh, Battlefield 3 and 4, and add on, like keep adding. But I feel like there's just so much that was like, yeah, they changed up a lot, but did they, they didn't keep anything either. Um, I don't know. Like I, I want it to be so great. And I hope that dice figures it out or, or whatever. Only game I play where DLSS isn't implemented well. Exactly. That too. Attack yeah, it's, it's pretty rough in there with DLSS. Closely followed by Battlefield 3. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was going to get wrecked regardless there. Uh, um, yeah, it's just... I don't know. Defend objective C2! I personally, I think portal mode is going to be one of the biggest factors. And right now, like, I know they said that they were turning off XP. Do you know if they turned on XP at all? Like, for por portal mode, is that still off? Because I see some people online saying that it is on and that you can level up, but it's like there's a cap to it. I think so, too. 
Be is back for match made games. For the match made making one, right? Not like the browser part of it. Feature one that has full XP, rest is maybe half XP. Yeah, that's like, I want to be able to go to the server browser, select them a server, join that server, play through all of the maps, new and old, play through, um, and make XP gains with that, like with the community too. And then also, have the scoreboard, be able to join a squad, have voiceover IP. Uh, you know, like actually communicate with people. Um, the specialist part, that's, I'm honestly okay with. Like, if they're not gonna have classes, then that's fine. Um, but it's just like those core things are not there. So, I don't know. <laughs> don't even mention scoreboards. And I'm not a big complainer about scoreboards, but I, I like, like, look at this. Like, I can see the squad. I can see how I'm doing, like, how everybody else is doing. I constantly check them in a battlefield game because it keeps me in check personally because it's like, okay, if I'm all the way down there with Charlie, squad it's like all right i need to start playing the objective more like i need to do something that i'm not just like sitting here i did see that that review or that um or that opinion on uh the reddit Attack keeping the uh two. the specialist the hazard zone i think that that would be a fantastic idea and and be a way to to keep them implemented i actually haven't even played hazard zone yet i've been wanting to um but i haven't checked it out yet honestly and it, and it probably doesn't help too like i browse the the battlefield 2042 subreddit a whole lot uh, and yeah, a lot of people are very negative, but it's just, it, it makes me upset that all these community members make very, very good points. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, they make all these good points that it's just like, why didn't DICE think of this? Why, you know, there's so many improvements that are sitting in that subreddit. That's not even just like, hey, this game's trash, like this game sucks, blah, 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 blah. It's literally like, Dice, if you add this, if you add that, like if you do this, this game can be great and will be great. And it's just like, how are these people thinking of this when they never did from there? Yeah, it sounded like it was a pretty rough uh, development from what what we've all heard. Although they said we're <laughs> we're way advanced, we are far more uh, whatever their their phrase was. We are months ahead of development or whatever. Me and Tyler from the Discord ran a few uh, rounds and it got a lot of potential. Got a lot of potential. Okay. I think dice just lacked the clear vi uh, vision on too many elements yeah it definitely was i don't know that's that's why like for now i've just put it down and said okay this is what battlefield is right now hopefully they see the feedback hopefully they're actually going to respond to the feedback and and implement the things that people have been saying and if it and if they do 
it'll be just like a scenario like Battlefront, Battlefront 2. That game is great today. Absolutely amazing. I love that game today. A lot of fun. Um, like I jump in that game every once in a while and it's really cool. So I, I hope that we see a, you know, redemption, redemption arc for Battlefield. <laughs> And it's and it's really not like it's not horrible. It's just it needs work. Same went for my most hated with Star Wars games, one of my favorites. Exactly. I'm not a, I personally I'm not hard to to please. Like I'm a very positive person when it comes to, to video games and I, I still like Battlefield 2042. I still have a lot of fun with it, but it's just it kind of gets to the point where we're like, why don't you have this? So then that's when I say, okay, I'm going to put it down for a bit, wait for one or two updates, pick it back up, see how it is, see if I like it, and then continue on. <laughs> I can tell you play Avengers like I do. Exactly. All right. I will say Avengers, unless there's something crazy happens, I have that game uninstalled. I'm not going back to it again. But they might be able to pull me in at some point. They might. We'll see though. <laughs> but yes, that's a very good point there. They're dropping first raid on Tuesday. Okay. I'll, ch I'll look at the, uh, the subreddit and stuff. I'm gonna wait for impressions before I dive back in. Yeah, I feel like that's a good uh, good way of Attack handling it. A2. Yara. Hey. Our UAV is online over the area. Objective Alpha 1 is under attack. Bed kit package? What is that? Wait, can I equip that now? Or? Area Alpha is under our control. I don't know how I use that. Defend objective A1. Yeah. Is that so how's matchmaking right now for Avengers? At least. Are you able to like find matches or do you play solo for a bit? I haven't played since they uh since the Black Panther thing and then I but aside from that I haven't played since they uh uh, added it to PC Game Pass. Okay. Yeah, same. So, sounds like we're in the same boat then. Um, got bummed out by uninteresting gear. Yeah. So, we'll see. I uninstalled it for now. Um, but if it comes back, that, hey, I'm, I'm down to... To check it out and stuff I, I think i'm at the point where like the next big up update like story wise i'm gonna skip out on unless if it's like a character i'm really interested like if they come out and they're like oh the next character for avengers is gonna be doctor strange then i'll be like all right i'm re-downloading it i'm jumping into it but if they come out it's like it's Captain Marvel. I might be uh, if they or like it's War Machine or I don't know. If Spider-Man was coming to PC, I would at least try it. But um, honestly, although I'm I'm still like upset, it's Spider-Man isn't coming to PC. Um, I don't. <laughs> don't feel like we're missing out on a lot because it's not like it's the best version of spider-man kind of like a b-tier spider-man so i'm not like i'm not like oh my god that's amazing i can't can't handle missing out on it 100 percent some of the crystal designs are any even better than insomniacs whoa whoa <laughs> 
I have seen them at some at some of the outfits though. I do think they look pretty cool. Could have had my money. I um Yeah, if it came to PC, I would at least play it and try it out. I, I still wonder. And it's it's just it's probably just me being very optimistic, but I wonder if they do plan on bringing Spider-Man to PC at all. Like I'm I'm curious if they would. I know that's a PS that's a Sony thing and that Sony is very very protective about it. But at the same time, I could see Marvel being like, no, we want this selling everywhere. I can't see it, but I would love it. Yeah, that's that's how I feel. I don't I don't think it would. But who knows? Who knows five years from now, three years from now, two years from now. I think if that would happen, we'd also see Spider-Man PS4 on PC. Same. I, I think at that rate, we would too. I, I really wonder if we will get it someday. Like, that's a lot of money that they're skipping out on to be able to just keep it to one platform. I don't know. I would gladly pay 60 bucks to play that game on PC at 60 frames or higher. <laughs> five years. Yeah, well, five years for Avengers. That's not really... I don't know if that's the case. But five years for Insomniac Spider-Man. Hey, what? It came out in 2018, or I think. I could see them dropping it in like 2023 being like, hey, Spider-Man 2 is just around the corner, but now, or well, no, by that point, uh, it should be out, I think, right? And it's, but yeah, anyways, they could be like, hey, you know, like it's been five years since this game released. Now it's going to be out on PC and then 2030. <laughs> we'll get uh we'll get Spider-Man 2 on PC. Or could get Spider-Man 2 on PC. They could do that, you know. Our units are taking hold of objective alpha At that point it's just like a a money making machine. Not that it already isn't, but it's like, hey, you know all this unused uh like franchise on pc why don't we just drop it on pc now just churn that money boom instant steam top seller first like first few months top seller ready when you are i pat my game's almost over here but yeah <laughs> who knows anyway gonna bounce could play some battlefield with tyler hit me up if you want to play battlefield or halo definitely Check out World War Three eventually. Have a, a top day, man. Hey, man. Yo, Maddie. Thank you for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. I did see your message the other day, uh, but I didn't see it until I opened up Origin. And unfortunately, they don't tell you in des uh, EA Desktop. But yeah, next time I'm on, if I see you on too, definitely. So thanks again, and uh, see you next time. Or I'll talk to you on the Discord or whenever. What up, Pat? Area Charlie is under our control. Hola, Pat. Enemy tank fighting in your area. Defend objective Charlie 2. Mark an objective or Attack lose your role. Bravo 1. Hola.
That servers have been pretty stable today. Oh god. Get me out of here. don't know what that objective alpha 2 is under attack Uh, when's the uh the next white for Tar Tarkov? Our units are taking hold of objective Charlie 2. To nie są ćwiczenia. Musimy kierować się do wyjść ewakuacyjnie. Remember to be in December, that's when the uh, new map, Voice Over IP and the Inertia OS is going to be. Is gonna be. Yeah, I kind of figured that's what he meant. Objective Alpha One is under attack. Objective Alpha. I'll uh, join attack. into Discord in a second. Actually, I'll do it right now. Yeah. Did you play any more uh, last night? <clears throat> I played, um... I, I left the match that you left. Okay. Obvious reasons. And yeah. I played like one more. Okay. Played one more. Good match. Nice. And then I just like watched Game of Thrones and I went to bed. Did you watch all of Game of Thrones? 
Yeah, I'm just rewatching it because I, I don't know why. I, I guess I just hate myself. Because <laughs> I, I just hit season seven and it's starting to hit me how bad it's going to get now. Yeah. I'm just like, I, oh. uh, I never made it past season three. Oh man, you missed some good stuff in seasons four and five had some good stuff as well. Yeah. I'm still, I mean, I still plan on going back and watching more. It's just I, I got tired and then I started watching like Spider-Man or something. Um, and I started going all over the place watching other stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's definitely a show where you gotta like watch all the things. Get that added effect. Yeah. Um. Wait, so what's what's new for Archive, supposedly? What's rumored? Uh, well, what's conf... It's the, the only rumor... Yeah, the only rumor is that the rumor is... It's coming out it's this gonna be Okay. Uh, but what's confirmed is new map. Um, and it's gonna start doing the whole, uh... You know how you can, like, buy stuff from traders? Uh, yeah. I don't know how much Archive you played. Yep. Uh, but they're gonna start rolling out traders in the uh, in the world now. So there's gonna be an actual trader, a new trader inside the lighthouse map. Okay. So in order to buy stuff from him, you're gonna have to bring money and trade in. In the game. Oh, in the raid, yeah. Yeah. While you're at that location. Yeah. And since that's the first one, uh, supposedly it's gonna be like explosives so like rpgs um claymores it's that it's not gonna be all at once it's so okay. far maybe grenades maybe as a start off and probably give them some random gun maybe a grenade launcher maybe, like stupid expensive and like in yeah. order to get to him you, you have to get through his goons and apparently he's gonna be like, oh, a oh. sniper scav boss which is gonna be interesting damn are there bosses uh, right now? Yeah, um, each map has one huh. so far. Uh, Lighthouse is supposed to have four when it's fully released. Four scab bosses, which is kind of insane. What the? I just got blown up. But, uh, yeah, so they're releasing part of that map. That map, I think they're doing two parts. Um, then voice over IP, which is going to be awesome. Oh. Uh, Love VoIP. Can't yeah. Wait for that to come in. Uh, inertia to stop the uh, the QE spamming and the, the what? Movement. The QE, the lean spamming, and uh, crowd spamming. So, what is be... inertia? So like, you know, insurgency stand sandstorm. You remember that yes. game? Yeah. The movement in that game, basically, like how uh, this game too. World War Three has it as well, kind of. Um. Uh. It takes you a little bit of time to reach top speed, basically. So, like, you know how you run in real life? You don't just go straight from oh, full yeah, sprint yeah. after one step. It'll take, like, a few steps, and then you hit full speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's the same as leaning, too. Like, you start off a little bit slow, and then, then you go quick, and then you slow down again to, like... Once you hit that end lean, it, it's hard to explain, but it, it, it requires more yeah. thought. Yeah, no, I, I see what you mean. Like, I'm just doing, I'm leaning right now, and it takes, like, like, it's not, like, an instant. It's, like, you yeah, start it's leaning, right and then yeah. you lean all the way into it. Yeah, Same thing with running. Instant. Yeah. Okay. Everything's instant, so uh, people are able to, like, do, like, very dumb twitchy movement in what's supposed to be a tactical game mm. so they're adding that um a bunch of new weapons all i know right now is the scar h and l is finally the added to the game okay um what else is there um when that's confirmed i think uh i think that might be a time for me to actually jump in Uh, yeah, 
I forget what else. But uh, there's obviously going to be other stuff too, because uh, Nikita, the, the, basically the head honcho over there, uh, he likes to bring in surprises. So, okay. so he, uh, he releases the patch notes of like the little fixes, the bug fixes and tweaks with weapons and stuff like that at first. Yeah. But he do the the actual content of what was added that's new to the game. Uh, until like a day or a week later or something like that he wants to, to allow us to find it for ourselves so wh whatever i just said there's gonna be more after that cool. i don't know how much more but yeah still like little things yeah that's neat i think uh, there was one time he added heavy bleeds to like that require um uh, like chemo stats and um s marches i think that's how you pronounce it a tourniquets oh, to okay. heal you yeah. just used to be you just use an ifac for a little bleed and then you're fine uh but out of nowhere he just adds heavy bleeds and we had no idea what to do with them it was <laughs> it was a fun it was like a fun like day of just trying to figure out what the heck this bleed was and how to fix it huh. Is that still in the game, or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that was, uh, that was like, that's like, that's like an example of like added content. Yeah. Or okay. Added thing that he would hide. Ho hopefully this wouldn't like kill us, but whatever he decides to add later on. But knowing him, it probably will. Huh. So it started out like, it, so now you can get light bleeds and heavy bleeds, and then yeah. you have to apply different things to stop the heavy bleeding. But... Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I, that, I mean, that right there is just familiar to me from, like, Arma, because I used to play Arma servers that are, like, you would get, you'd have to have a medic check you out, see what it is, and then they would have to apply certain things to see whether it's, uh, heavy bleeding or light bleeding and stuff. That's funny, though. It says oh, there's going to be more weapon malfunctions, too. Ah, so, oh shit. Yeah, it's oh, bad. It'll be bad early, like. Yeah. Uh, your weapon has a durability bar. And um, most weapons you get early wipe are going to be like under 60%. So they're going to like jam. Yeah. And it's usually like you press like a, you press shift T and you just like open the chamber and just like you get, the bullet like flies out. Which, yeah probably not really how it works you probably have to like work to get the bullet out but i no. guess in the game yeah it oh it does work like that no oh, it, okay. it depends sometimes it can um like if you do that sometimes it can double feed where it'll literally like have one bullet to one side and then another bullet to the right side and you have to kind of like wedge get the one there. out yeah um but sometimes i mean usually it's uh sports slap uh literally it's slap the bottom of the magazine then pull the the charging handle observe uh re -rack, i think it's re-rack or rack uh then s-p-o-r forget what r is or yeah no rack oh. then t uh I don't know. I forget what T is, but yeah, no, that's that's like pretty pretty accurate. Sometimes depends. The only uh, malfunction I know that's coming, I don't know, it'll be in this upcoming patch. But the only one I know that is coming is overheating. Mm -hmm. So that one you can that one you can at least control yourself. Just don't uh, have your gun on fully auto all the yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> basically, don't fire at all points of the time. That's cool though. That's neat. Okay. It's gonna be our first map in like two years. No. Almost three now, I think. It's been a long time. Even if it's just like one part of it, I we need a new map.
right. 